Today we're going to be taking a look at the best custom fit vehicle wiring available for the 2017 Mitsubishi Outlander. Now we're going to be taking a look at two different styles of kit here to kind of give you an idea of which one's going to be the right one for you. We'll start with our Kurt. This is a 12 volt powered kit. It means it's going to re receive 12 volt power directly from the battery. That part number is C56189. This will be for vehicles without the factory tow package prep. If we look here on the other side, this is going to be our Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness. This part number is 118277, and this is designed for vehicles with the factory tow package prep. What that means is that instead of running that 12 volt wire from the rear of the vehicle to the front, we've got a 12 volt outlet or a 12 volt plug right there at the front of the vehicle. We're going to plug this into and simply run this to our battery. It's going to have a fuse holder to protect it, just like the Kurt will, although the Kurt does require you to run that extra wire up front. Now we'll show you how to identify where this plug is located to make sure you do have it and that this will be an effective tow package for you. If you don't locate this plug, you will need to go with the Kurt with the 12 volt powered wire. Now to determine if we do have the factory prep package, what we're going to do is just underneath that is going to be the battery. You see that right here. If we look down on the frame, there are a couple of grounds, one here and one here. And then you should have a plug that's been taped up right here on this wire line. If you have that, you're going to have the factory tow prep package. Now the Kurt does offer the four pole flat trailer connector, that's what we're looking for. That's going to take care of a cargo carrier, trailers, whatever the Mitsubishi Outlander is designed to pull. This is going to deliver three amps for your turn and for your brake signal on each side and it gives you six amps total for your tail lights. So that's going to be more than enough to power any standard size trailer. When we need it, we can simply open up our hatch door, bring our wiring out. It's okay to let it hang right over the threshold here. It's going to give us enough padding to allow it to, to be protected. We just, of course, want to avoid our striker area there. Now, the way it's going to work, this T is going to plug directly in line between the back of our tail light on our vehicle. That signals the signal into our converter box. It's going to convert that signal into a usable signal for our trailer. We power it through a 12 volt power wire, so it's not drawing any power through the lighting system. We're not going to have to worry about overloading it. And the converter box is going to keep our trailer separate from our vehicle. So if there are any shorts or anything like that in the trailer, we don't have to worry about it getting into our vehicle's wiring. You'll see with our Takancha, we also have that converter box. This is going to take care of the same duties as the other one, preventing our vehicle from being overloaded and also protecting from shorts coming from our trailer. Now you'll see on our custom fit vehicle side here, we're going to get our running lights, both turn signals, our stop lights and power, all from our vehicle plug here. That's going to allow us to just make a single connection at the rear of the vehicle, mount our box, and then we'll have our plug available. So that's going to be the biggest difference between the two. If your vehicle has the factory tow prep package, it's certainly the way you want to go. This is going to allow you a much easier time of getting it connected. If it doesn't have that available, you'll then want to go with the Kurt system, which has that 12 volt power wire that we can then run to the front and still have a working four pole trailer connector. The both harnesses are going to have a dust cover that are going to go over them there. But the wiring, unless you make it a special style of installation, is going to be stored in the rear of the vehicle. So you'll want to keep that in mind. Kurt's provided us with the hardware we're going to need to make our connections. And of course, the Takancha also has the zip ties, the fuse, the little self-tapping screw that we're going to need to make those connections. And both are going to have a good detailed set of instructions. And that's going to complete our look at the best custom fit vehicle wiring harnesses available for the Mitsubishi Outlander. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.